do a fake page design. I'm gonna wing it. We'll see what happens and hopefully it'll be helpful. So I'm in Lucid Press. I'm in my documents just because I saved this template to my documents, but you would be in the shield folder doing yours. So this is Alyssa's from last year. I'm just gonna use it as a template. Inspirational quote. So when you open these converted ones from InDesign, they're gonna have a lot of the red arrow things, which just means that the text box isn't showing, it's not big enough to show all the text. So you can click it and it should come, it should make it bigger or big enough to fit, or you can just manually drag it bigger. So the shield is hidden, uh-oh. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna get that in the guidelines a little bit more. Okay. And you'll know if your fonts are all there, you can check. Uh, or there's no, there's none of that little triangle pop up, so we're good here. First thing I'm gonna do is just copy paste the story that I'm gonna be using in here. Oh dang, okay. Hold on guys, I feel like a teacher. This is so fun, okay. Yeah, so that looks horrible. I just copy pasted it from Google Docs. So let's get that to Chaparral Pro. Incredible. I'm not gonna worry about making it fit because this is an example. But that is where all the problems come from is making it fit. But we will get it down to size. And it's supposed to be nine. Usually it's 8.5, but we don't have that with Lucid Pro. Or Lucid, whatever we're on, Lucid Press. So we'll do nine. Notice, okay, so I just did that off screen because it took so long. Um, but notice how when you put it in, it'll be in, it will be spaced. We don't really do that to save space, so we do indents uh, to separate the paragraphs. So, you know, I'm not really sure if there's a better way to do this, but I found that just deleting the space and it'll connect it to the next paragraph and then hitting the tab key until it gets you to that tab. I'll show you in a better example. Like this one down here, it takes a while for the tab key to put it on its own line. But eventually it'll do that. Again, I don't know what I'm doing either. So this is all fun for all of us. And these are really deep tabs. I don't know. Yeah, here we go. Fix that. Okay. So now that we have everything connected, no unnecessary spaces, let's change the font. We can go Chaparral Pro. We're already in... 49 points, so that's good. Regular. Okay. Uh oh, see that messed up us again. And we will just pretend that that goes to the end of the page. Because <laughs> I. Yeah, just pretend it fits. It's fine. It's all good. So. Let's do this. Let's put on guides because that'll that is gonna help. So go to view and guides, show guides. So that's basically where all our spacing needs to be. So the columns should line up with the text. Do y'all see that? Yeah. So, all right. So you can check and double check to see if the text boxes line up with those guides. We're looking pretty good. All right. Anyways, okay, let's finish the text formatting. So last thing we need to do is adjust the text style, I guess you would call it. It's up here. I just pointed to the computer screen. It's up here and over on this little side bracket. I don't know what you'd call this little pop-up. So we're doing <laughs> justify text. So that 
Oh man, that messed it up too. So it's justified. And that fills up the entire column in a very newspapery fashion. So I'm gonna go back and fix these indents. Guys, I'm gonna figure out how to do the tabs better because this is kind of cumbersome. Yeah, those look good. Yeah, justify it like that. All right, looks good. And so we've got the text, PT, oh no, Chaparral Pro regular, nine point. We got the captions. I could put new captions on, but I think it would be just default. Um, so captions are PT Sands. Uh, don't know who Oblique is, but I guess that's italics. I've never heard that before. Um, interesting. So, yeah. So, captions will be italics or obliques. And usually they're bigger than the body text, but I'm not sure what we're going to do for that, so... I would just leave it at nine point for now. We'll figure that out again later. Um, let's. This should be PT Sans too. We're going eighteen point, I guess. And then PT Sans bold up here. Oh, hopefully you saw this, but subheads should be all caps first and last, and then your, I guess, reporter title, your title should be all lowercase. It's not a proper noun, don't even capitalize the first letter. And headlines should be all lowercase except for the first letter, don't capitalize these words like it's a movie. And for your subhead, make it just a little bit, it's like a second headline but a little less vague. Um, and if you have an and in it, replace that and with a comma. So the and Base, or the comma basically reads like an and. So online classes like equity and district takes action to create it. So that works. I'm not going to replace this either because we don't have the time. <laughs> you know? Uh, let's add pictures. Mountains. You know, a little mountain icon over here. You go to manage. Upload. Images. And then it'll show you what you have, what you have to work with. So I already uploaded these three. We just click on them and open them. Oh, better to have it, so I'm not going to do that. So now we have those in the queue. You know, I think, pretty sure drag and drop just works fine. So we can drag and drop those. Um, and now for cropping, if you've used InDesign before, you know that like right clicking on it, you can get, or like double clicking on it, it'll get you to like a crop window where you can crop the picture itself and not just adjust the text box size, but I don't really think we have that. So we have to go to, I think it's a, oh, well duh, okay, so <laughs> it's right here. Just, yeah, right click on it, crop image, that took me forever. And we can adjust, I don't really need those arms. get his arm in there. Yeah, um, I just clicked enter. I didn't see a button there. That tripped me up for a while. But now it doesn't fit perfectly, but that's where, you know, the fun comes trying to figure out how to get everything you want on the page to fit. That's really the challenge with page design. I'm just gonna make this small. But that's a little, this is a little less important. I just wanna make sure everyone knows the basic stuff. We'll get rid of that for now. And just act like I've done a complete job of getting this, everything to fit on there. Yeah, don't worry too much about the spacing between everything yet. Just as make sure your text boxes are lining up with the guides. And it should be close. Like you can see, 
Oh, I can do this now. You can see that this right here doesn't exactly match up. So, tighten it up a little bit. You know how it is. And just pretend that that goes, that this right here does not exist. We do not want any white space like that. All right. So last most important thing for page design is this at the bottom, which is your folio is okay. These are the folios down here. The, this over here is the, you know, the day the paper is released. Um, and then over here we have the section and the page number. So we send a print on the 23rd of October and make sure you're getting the or make sure the fonts stay the same because the fonts are different between these 2020 this is new so I'm gonna keep it but you know it could be whatever section it's in and whatever page number it's on okay so this is where it gets a little bit like math brainy if you will is let's fix this. okay um so the folio is different if on odd and even pages so if you have a page on an odd one like this one, it would be on the right hand side and you want the page number to be on the, oh my god, how do you even describe it? Yeah, well you want it to be on the right hand side of a odd number page and on the left hand side of an even number page because that would be on the outside Closest, farthest away from the, you know, the fold in the middle. Yes, that's how I'm going to describe it. Farther away from the fold in the middle. So this is right for an odd number page. But if we had news on page four, to make sure it's farther away. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a name. This helps to, like, explain it with a, you know, you can look in a shield if you want. But it makes sense. You know, you want the date to be in the middle and the page number to be on the outside. So if we add it on four, which is even, we would just switch them. And, you know, that's really the last nitpicky thing we got going on. Let's get that to... And move down a bit. Okay, this is too slow. Let's pull it over. All right. You know, we're looking pretty good. This is like... Honestly, this is everything where it should be. This is a good place to have everything on Wednesday. Uh, yeah, so hopefully we'll work more on these in class. I'm so sure I missed something, so... If you have any questions, just let me know. Let someone else know. Um, yeah. Oh, hey. Feature find. If you don't know what to do, like if you want, what do you, like if you can't find guides, just type in guides. And it has a name around. That's so cool. Okay. Yeah. So feature find is right here. If you are looking for something, honestly, a lot of the times I am looking for something and I can't even, I don't even know the name of it. So that is a problem but you know we're here for you google's here for you we'll figure it out all right hope this helped guys thanks for bearing with me bye